So Emily asked in the forums, she has a sequence with about 300 clips and wants to export the time code of each clip, the duration of the clip and the start and end time of the clip in the sequence to a spreadsheet and doesn't want to do it manually. We can do this with automation blocks as follows. So here I've got automation blocks in uh, Premiere Pro open and we can create a new script by clicking here. Um, Instead of, so here you've got the library of ready to use tools. We want to create a custom one now. Here we've got our editor where we can now specify exactly what we want. We want to iterate over all clips of a sequence, right? So we go here to the Premiere Pro sequence clips blocks and there's a block for each clip. So now you can do something with each clip and first you can specify here, do you want to process only clips of particular track or of all tracks or of all video tracks. Let's go here for all video tracks now, such that if you've got a track that has both video and audio, it is not processed twice. If you of course want to separate export also the audio tracks independently, you can do this too. We want to process the active sequence. And now what do we want to do in each of them? We want to write to a spreadsheet file or something for each of those um, clips, right? So we go to file spreadsheet and here is an add row to spreadsheet file block. So here you can pick now the file. If you click here, you get a file picker, but we just keep it as is. We just want to write on our desktop in the file myspreadsheet.csv. And now you can add all kinds of things here. So um, what do we want to add details of? Well, we want to write in this spreadsheet something of the clip that we are processing. So we go to sequence clips and say we want to get attributes of this clip. You could write in the first cell of the spreadsheet, for example, the name of the clip of which clip. This here is a shorthand saying of the first clip in video track one. So you could also write it something like the third clip in video track two or so on. But we don't want to write data of one particular clip, but of the clips that we are looping here over. This is my clip, as you can see here. Yeah, it, it, it says for each clip as my clip. So we've got here a variable my clip, which we can just paste in here. This means this tool here now loops over all clips of the active sequence and writes in the file myspreadsheet.csv the name of these clips. Now we want to add more. We want to also add the endpoint. Uh, and now we need more cells. So I click here to make this block here bigger. Yeah. I duplicate it one more time and say so we also want to uh, write the out point. We want to write the start end time and start time. Start time in sequence and end time in sequence. Uh, and now all these times are by default uh, values in seconds. And if you want to change this, we can go here to the PR time section and say convert time. Yeah. So for example, if you want the in point in a particular uh, um, time code format, you can drag this in here and say, I want the in point not in seconds, but I want to have it in this depends on your sequence now on uh, 30 frames per second time code, for example. And now cell B would be contain um, the in point in 30 frames per second time code. You can also see that we have here um, convert time to time code format of sequence. So if you are not sure which uh, time code you have, you can also use this block instead. Let me put this in the garbage. And now it converts the in point time of in seconds to the time code of the active sequence, no matter what this is. Okay. So, and we can also, let me delete this and drag this in here. Oh, <laughs> this is the name, I'm sorry. So we cannot, of course, convert the name. So it doesn't let you drag this in here uh, because you cannot convert the name. I wanted to convert both the in point and the, uh, the in point and the out point here uh, to time code. And so now we've got these two values in time code and these two values here in, um, in seconds. 
yeah so i can right click here and choose help if i want to know more about this blog and i want to do this in particular not just to show you that you get help of what these blogs are actually doing but since we were talking now about start time and end time and in point and out point if you wonder what the difference between those are yeah so the start and end time one more time here we've got the start time and sequence and end time and sequence here we've got the in and out point of the clip Start time and end time are measured with respect to the sequence and in point and out point are measured with respect to the clip itself. Yeah? And we want to write all these four things uh, into, the, um, into the spreadsheet. Now these values are all values of the clips in the timeline here. Yeah? Sometimes you want to write in your spreadsheet also data not of the clip but if you would right click here and choose reveal in project then we've got here our project item and the project item itself also has lots of properties and let's say for example you want to know the file path the actual file path of this project item here on disk yeah let me write this to the spreadsheet too so i add here yet another cell to our spreadsheet And um, so far we used here in PR sequence clips the get attribute of clip, yeah, which retrieves attributes of the element here in our timeline, so to speak, or in our sequence. But if we go to PR project items, so this is about, about the items here in our project panel. This also has such a get attribute block, get attribute of project item. Yeah? And you can also use my clip here so the clip that we are currently processing uh, as a project item. This means don't you look at use this clip, but use the project item that belongs to it. Yeah, and this has tons of other properties here. So like uh, with which frame rate does it has, has it audio, has it video, which height, which width has it, ton tons of properties. And uh, for example, the media file pass is also one of them, which is the actual source file on disk, right? Um, so, let me check this tool. We are just running it now. I just click on run. And if you go to the library, it says done here. Yeah, there's another button where you could run the currently open script. And you can see that on my desktop, I have the myspreadsheet.csv file here now. And if I open it, you can see it has here in the first column the name of the clips. Then it has these in points and out points in time code. Then it has the sequence or the, the start time and sequence and the end time and sequence this time not as time code but as seconds value so this clip starts at 159.7 seconds yeah so these are these values here start time and sequence end time and sequence and the very last value should be the media pass of the project item let's verify this too and you can see here as a very last entry of my spreadsheet, you've got this full media pass where I've stored these footage items here. So this is really how quickly you can export data from your timeline to a spreadsheet with automation blocks. And I'm going to save this script uh, and attach it to your blog post or uh, to your forum post, uh, such that all you need to do is actually to update here the, the path to the file where you want to have it. You can rearrange the order of these cells if you want to have the spreadsheet uh, in a different format or uh, if you want to have the, uh, the data here in a different order uh, or you can add more attributes, remove attributes however you want to export exactly the data you want to have in your spreadsheet. I hope this tutorial was helpful you for you and have fun with automation blocks for Premiere Pro.